Hi, everybody. I'm here to talk about an object model for safety and efficiency by definition. Um, <clears throat> so this is couched in a programming language, but really wanna, what I want to talk to you about is the object model part. Um, uh, so to be clear, this is not intended to compete with carbon, OK? Um, <laughs> in fact, you know, we would like we would love for some other language to come along and steal the ideas that we are that we're using. So this is this is a research project, and the main point here is the object model. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to make a few controversial points, and then I'm going to open the floor. Uh, first of all, I'm going to assert you all, C++ programmers, we all program with references as though they were values. Okay, so when you pass something by const reference, you, you automatically transform code that passes by value into pass by const reference because it's going to be more efficient, right? No forced copy. And you think those are equivalent. You program as though those are equivalent. The compiler doesn't think they're equivalent, right? The compiler knows that you, somebody can have a pointer to that thing and go mutate it behind your back, right? But we have this mental model. And when we pass by mutable reference, we don't think somebody else can modify that while I'm modifying it. We program as though we have exclusive access to it. OK? So why, why do we think that way? Well, because it's almost impossible to think any other way. It's impossible to manage your program if you don't have some understanding of independence of values. OK? Um, in fact, if you think about it, any completely specified mutating operation, be it a machine instruction or a database transaction, depends on value semantics. So what can a mutating operation operate on? Its parameters, right? That's all it can document that it's doing. It can work on its parameters, right? So if you mutate one of your parameters and that mutates something else in your program, you have no way of talking about it in your specification. Okay? So value semantics. This is what value semantics is. This is absolutely fundamental to doing anything with mutation. All right. So the premise behind val is what if all you had was values? All right, no references. So there are a few realizations that feed into this. One, we realized that getting passed by value semantics does not require a copy. All you need to do is say that thing that you passed by value can't be mutated. And how often do you get a parameter by value and mutate it? Yeah, we do it sometimes in C++, occasionally, right? We could afford to actually explicitly copy, especially if pass by value didn't cause a copy. Right? Secondly, mutation, although in C++ we have no way of doing it on any interesting object without a pointer or a reference, does not imply a reference. Right? You could get something passed by value, mutate it, and then return it. Right? Now, if return and pass by value didn't cost you a copy, maybe that wouldn't be a problem. OK, so lastly, once you realize you don't have to copy all the time to pass by value, making all copies explicit actually doesn't have to be painful. In fact, in Val's design, you can program as though it was, you know, Python or C++ with, with regular values, and the compiler will tell you when you need it to copy. In fact, it'll offer to insert the copies for you that you may have needed. And this is not painful because they're rare, right? One of the problems, why do we pass by reference all the time in C++? It's because C++ is copying eagerly. Okay. so. 
that's all I got for today. Ask me anything. Got any questions? Yes, Sean. What do you get out of this? Uh, you get out of it safety and efficiency by definition. Okay, that's what I said on the, the opening slide. So where does threat unsafety come from? Shared mutable state, right? This eliminates shared mutable state. Where does, where does spooky action at a distance come from? Shared mutable state. In, uh, uh, incidental algorithms, where do they come from? Object networks with mutation, right? So, um, so all of that stuff becomes not only safe, but possible to reason about. And, you know, what's the big problem that we're solving with our value references and all of this complexity in C++? The copies are mostly gone. All you're left with are the ones you actually need. 